Yo, KP Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 14 of Seven Reasons Why. It's been a long time since we posted the Seven Reasons Why video, so we're gonna get right back into it. This one is Seven Reasons Why You Should Upgrade Your Receiver. Stay tuned. Reason number seven is easy wireless streaming. Nowadays, everything is through Wi-Fi, through the cloud. You have your Apple AirPlay, you have your Android Auto, you have your Spotify, Hulu, Netflix, whatever it may be. Nowadays, everything is just through streaming and people have Wi-Fi all through their homes, all through their businesses. Nowadays, all the new receivers and preprocessors are gonna have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth right out of the box, even the entry level units. And so it just makes more sense to have a newer version of your receiver because you get access to your HD radio, Spotify, you can Bluetooth, whatever you want to do. It just makes everything more convenient. You can have everything in one central hub. Your receiver and AV processor is going to be the brains of your entire system. So why not have it do everything possible? Older models may have Wi-Fi, may have Bluetooth, but not the updated version of it. There's faster speeds of Wi-Fi and better connections for Bluetooth with 2018, 19 different standards. So it's okay to keep your old stuff, but think about upgrading your receiver to something newer. You may find it be a lot more convenient for you and your needs. That's reason number seven. Reason number six is smartphone apps. Everybody has a smartphone nowadays. Everybody has a tablet, some sort of computer. Somebody has something, right? Nowadays, receivers and preprocessors have apps that you can use to control your, your AV receiver or your preprocessor completely. They have apps not only to control the radio, to control what input you're on, but they also control EQ. You can go right into apps nowadays and set curves, set EQ, set levels, all that good stuff, change DSPs, sound formats, whatever you want to do. You can do it right from your phone. You can't do that with an older receiver. So imagine sitting right there in your spot, in your sweet spot of your home, and going through and fine tuning your system, selecting inputs. It's basically a smart remote on your smartphone. So getting a new receiver allows you to open your possibilities of configuration, of EQing, and of course you have a remote right there, right in your pocket. That's going to be reason number six. Reason number five is going to be Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oral 3D. Those are our newer formats now, those are the big rave in home theater right now, and the IMAX Enhanced just came out as well. And none of the older receivers are going to have any of those formats. You may be still using Dolby True HD or um, DTS Master Audio, something older like Dolby PL2Z, which is the first introduction of height speakers in the front of the room. There's a lot of older formats that are kind of obsolete now. Obsolete as in new Blu-rays and DVDs don't use those, cor those formats anymore. They're more for Dolby Atmos, DTS X, or DVD. And it's actually a really good experience to get into. I highly recommend it. I've played around with Dolby Atmos and DTS X, and I'm soon to play around with Oral 3D now that I have my Marantz. Those formats are going to help you with immersion. They're going to be the, the smart way of home theater. They're going to be um, the, probably the most realistic sound we're going to get out of any of the formats. You now have overhead speakers that are going to um, have plane effects and thunder and lightning. All that stuff is going to come where it's supposed to come, which is above you. So the older formats, they still sound good, but they're not going to give you as much or as easy of realism and realistic effects as Dolby Atmos, DTS X will, or o 3 d So if you're using an old receiver, it may be just enough for that to get a new one. That's reason number five. Reason number four is multi-zones. All receivers nowadays have the ability to play something in the main room and then have something going on in another room. Especially if you have a bigger home or you have a bigger family or you like to have company over, you can really utilize your amp or your AV processor if you have multiple zones. You can have the TV going right here, the football game, maybe you have the kids in another room want to watch something totally different or listen to music on the deck, the patio, whatever you wanted to do. You can do that right out of the box with most if not all AV processors and receivers. The ability to play different music in one room into another is big for a lot of people, especially people who like to have a lot of people over, or for businesses who have music across different rooms or different showrooms or whatever you want to do. You can do that all from one receiver, and that's big enough for me to just get a receiver if I if I have an old one. For me personally, I don't listen to music in one or more than just one room at a time, 
and I don't have a big enough house to really benefit that. I can hear it from you know one room across the whole house. But for people who have multi floors, maybe a basement, and then they have the main floor, maybe upstairs, you may really be able to utilize multi zones. And for a lot of people, it makes sense to have a new receiver for that. So that's going to be reason number four. Number three on this list for seven reasons why you should upgrade your receiver is going to be 4K compatibility. You get that nice TV, but you don't have a 4K processor to process all of your inputs and your connections. Your receiver is not only going to be able to be compatible with 4K, but it's also going to take your lesser um, formats like 720p or 1080p and upscale them to 4K. So getting a new receiver unlocks a lot of different video aspects, not just audio. If you get a nice 4K TV or a nice 4K projector, you're going to want to bundle that with something that can um, control all that good stuff, can run that stuff, is compatible with that stuff. Everybody's familiar with HDCP 2.2, that's a copyright protection for 4K, you have to have it, everything has to be compatible with HDCP 2.2 or it's not going to communicate with each other. So your TV has to be 4K HDCP, so does your receiver, everything in the middle has to be as well, Blu-ray, all that good stuff. So it makes good, good sense just because of new HDMI formats to get new receivers, just to keep up with the video portion of today's standards. My TV is a 4K OLED from 2017 from LG and it's HDCP 2.2 compliant. And I used to have an old Marantz receiver, a 7009, that was 4K but wasn't HDCP 2.2. And my issue that I ran with was when I went to watch 4K Blu-rays and Dolby Atmos content, it would not allow me to do it. It just didn't have that HDCP certification. So you may want to look into your receiver and see if it has HDCP 2.2 and if not, I highly, highly recommend upgrading that because here in a little bit, all HDMI formats are going to be HDC 2.2 and you're going to be stuck without any inputs. So that's going to be reason number three. Reason number two is going to be HDMI inputs. I know we just talked about 4K, but not that kind of HDMI input, but the number of HDMI inputs that a receiver allows you to get. Most receivers have six or more different HDMI inputs, which is super convenient. For those who have a TV, have a 4K Roku stick, have an Amazon Fire TV, some kind of Cube, an Apple Mini, whatever you may have, you can connect all that stuff right there on your receiver, and then you can control your receiver to change inputs, not your TV. So that allows you to have one central smart hub that we were talking about earlier in this video. Having multiple HDMI inputs allows you to connect all the things that you can possibly connect at once. Blu-ray, like I said, Amazon Fire TV, Apple Minis, whatever, even computers, all that good stuff. You can connect that right there from your central hub, be in your receiver. And that allows you to watch anything you want to without having to switch inputs or go to the TV itself and switch inputs. It's all right there in your hand. And of course, if you had that smart app like we talked about or a universal remote, it's just one click of a button and you can change inputs across any input you would like to. And if it's 1080p or 720p, you can also upscale your, your lesser content to 4K like we talked about as well. So think about getting a new receiver. If you're not into 4K, if you're not really into Dolby Atmos, it's all right. There's other benefits like having multiple HDMI inputs itself. That should be enough to upgrade. That's gonna be reason number two. Reason number one and seven reasons why you should upgrade your receiver is going to be bigger, better sound. Now, if you don't like any of the first six reasons that I listed for you guys, number one right here should be a reason enough to upgrade your receiver, and that's bigger, better sound. Not that old receivers sound worse. A lot of people would say they sound better. But again, all those different formats and e-codings that you can use on a new receiver, it's just far better than the old stuff. Dolby Atmos, DTSX, um, Master Audio, all that good stuff, all 3D is far better than the old stuff. Now, two channel listening, that's up for debate. But when it comes to home theater, the home theater portion of it, the newer stuff is just a little bit better. You have more options. You can kind of tailor it to what you want, what you want to do. Calibration has come a long way since since back then. That's another thing to think about. Odyssey is fantastic. Um, Arc, any kind of room correction is beneficial, whether it's good or great. It's going to help you no matter what. And a lot of those old old receivers don't have um, the best calibration or any at all. So if you're looking into sound in general, it's better sound, better. Um, chips and decodings and codecs, all that good stuff, they're in the new receivers. High res audio, it's all in there. So if you're super avid about home theater and you really like just music listening, you may want to look into a new receiver, a new processor, or a new two-channel stereo system. Look into that, you could really enhance your sound and enhance your entertainment. That'll be reason number one.
That's going to do it for seven reasons why you should upgrade your receiver. And you guys saw I upgraded mine as well, so I'm going to test to my own word. And I absolutely love my new Morant. So guys, if you loved the reasons why I gave to you guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know that. Leave me a like. And also in the comments below, let me know anything that you guys think are another reason why you should upgrade that I didn't mention. Leave that down below in the comments so that I can see it and everybody else can see it as well. And again, if you enjoyed my video, hit that like button and make sure you back slap that subscribe button so that it knows that you want to be subscribed. Hit that bell as well so that you're notified for any other videos that I post. And we'll see you guys soon this week for more videos. Take care, guys. K-Base guy out.